Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got another Hot Topic palette video for you guys. This one is the Moana Heart of Tafiti eyeshadow palette. It's definitely uh, not as colorful as some of the other palettes that I've purchased from Hot Topic recently, but I really love kind of the green tones in this palette. So I'm excited to try this one out. The design of the palette's really cute. You've got Moana and Maui right there in the center. It's just kind of like a little tropical vibe on the back, but I love the inner portion. So let's see if I can show you without blinding you with the mirror. Um, so yeah, this is what the inside looks like. It's kind of like the designs that you see on Maui's tattoos. And then it's got this really pretty mirror. And then the way the shadows are set up, you have all these gorgeous shadows and then you have a highlighter in the center. So and I think online they even called it an eyeshadow and highlighter palette. Let's see. Disney Moana Heart of Tafiti eyeshadow palette. Okay, so. I'm gonna try to use it as a highlighter though. <laughs> so this retails for $14.90 and of course is on sale right now for $11. Um, it is still in stock. So this palette is cruelty free and vegan and then you get 13 eyeshadows in it. All right, let's get into some quick swatches. Okay, so I went ahead and swatched them on two arms. So I will show you one at a time. Um, and I will try to pronounce names as best as I can. I remember a lot of these names from the movies. Some of these I don't, so I'll just be guessing there. Uh, and I will say this is like a lot of building. These shadows were incredibly sheer and it did take a lot, a lot, a lot of building, which I'm hoping will still work nicely on the eyes because sometimes, you know, you can still get a really pretty sheer kind of, you know, look on the eyes, but we'll see. All right, so let's just get into it. This first one, of course, starts with a shade that I don't think I can pronounce. It's Manina Toa. I'm sorry, I don't know that one. All right, next up we have Fish Hook. This one is Taka. This one is a really light, sheer, shimmery shade. This one is Tamatoa, and it's a beautiful shade, but this took about three layers of building. This is Atua Osami. This is Mini Maui, Kakamora. And then switching to the other arm. This one is Matanui, Stingray, Hey Hey, Pua, Maui, and Tiki. And then for the middle shade, which was the highlighter, I went ahead and just put it on my hand. So I don't, you can't really see this shade at all. Like, let's see. So that's, I kind of like blended it out on my hand and I don't feel, I think you're just getting like a glow, but I'm probably just gonna put it on my cheeks. So you'll see it as a highlighter. So without further ado, let's just get into the eye look. All right guys, I already kind of started. I didn't realize the camera wasn't recording, but I haven't gone very far. I basically just took a bit of Tiki and Hey Hey. I've just been kind of going back and forth with this fluffy brush and blending it into the crease. Cause like I said, these are really sheer shades. So I just want a nice little pink wash in the crease and up on the brow bone. As you can see, I went on the darker side and I did that just because from the swatches I could tell it's gonna be really easy to do just like a light sheer look. So I wanted to kind of challenge myself and this palette to see if I could get something a bit bolder out of it. So um, I really loved this shade right here, which is Mini Maui, but it's so sheer. So I'm just incorporating it a little bit into the crease just to start transitioning into the green. So I really wanted to use one of these two shimmer shades. So I went with Motunui, um, but in order for it to work, you do have to spray the brush. So what I did was I just got my flat brush and got a good bit of product on it. It has a lot of fallout. And then I sprayed it before putting it on my eye. And I'm, I'm doing a halo, but I'm trying not to come in too far. I'm doing kind of a, a very, very large spotlight is what I'm going for. So I'm just patting this color on. That's the other thing that I found worked really nicely with this particular shade. If you want to make it work is just to pat, pat it on. That's how you get the most intensity of the color. Okay. Now I am going to take that little tapered brush from earlier, go back into Mont Montanui uh, and just kind of blend the edges a bit. you do kind of have to go back over it to intensify. All right, for the center, um, I kind of did two things. So I'm just gonna do those same two things again. I went into Stingray and placed that over the spotlight portion, but I just didn't like the tone of it with this look. I'm gonna lay it down anyways, just in case it made a difference. So what I actually ended up doing on this eye was I went over it with the highlight color, which is Heart of Tafiti. 
So again, I'm gonna get product on the brush and spray it. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Montanui, the really dark color with my tiny brush just to blend this top part again. Just trying to make it match the other eye. Okay, I think we're closer. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I wanted to use the other dark shimmery color right here, which is Maui. They both have a lot of fallout, so I mean, spraying them is the only way it's really, I think, gonna work at all. So I'm just gonna spray a flat angled brush and line the lower lash line. Then with a pencil brush, I went into the shade Fish Hook and just ran that underneath. You do have to dip back in quite frequently. And then, <laughs> last one, or I think I'll do a highlight, then last one. Um, then I went into this shade, which was Atua Osami, and I went basically over the top of the Maui color just with the pencil brush to kind of blend it and add a bit more of a bright purple. Inner corner highlight. Unfortunately, that green highlight in the center is really the brightest thing in this palette. These other shimmer shades, even though they look like they're going to be light and bright, they're really not. Believe me, I was swatching on my hand to try to figure out what to do. So I'm just gonna pop the Heart of Tafiti highlighter shade and kind of blend it. I'm gonna top it with a little bit of Taka just to make sure it's not too green looking. Um, and while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and take my highlighter brush and go into Heart of Tafiti. Ooh, it's powdery. Tap it off and let's see what it looks like as a highlight. So it's a nice kind of like glowy type of highlight shade if you want to use it as that. I definitely like it. That's really pretty. All right, so let me just finish up the eyes and I'll be right back to give you my thoughts. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I definitely was able to achieve a darker, bolder look with these shadows um, with a little little work, a little extra work. Overall, I'm not gonna say this is a fantastic palette because it's not. I mean, it definitely takes a lot of building. As gorgeous as these colors are, I really wish they were a bit more true to color when you use them with a brush. I mean, I, you know, I saw when I did the swatches that they were really sheer and I figured that's how they would translate to the eye and I was right. Those shades that you really want to see the color, you're just gonna have to pack them on with a flat brush or use your finger. That's the way to do it. So, you know, I think that this is a palette that you could definitely work with. Maybe I'll try to do just like a simple, easy, light look with this and just post it on my Instagram sometime this week at least this weekend. I'll try to get you something by this weekend, I promise, just so you can see a comparison. Uh, but I just wanted to be able to show you, you know, that you can achieve something a bit darker um, as long as you work with these shadows. They're cheaper shadows. They are gonna take a little extra love to get what you want. And if you know that going into it, then you're not gonna be disappointed. So I would say that if you or somebody you wanna buy this for is like a big Disney fan, they're a big uh, Moana fan, then this is a great palette. If you're just looking for it for the eyeshadow, because you think the colors are pretty, I would maybe just get something from the drugstore that's similar in shades because this is a lot of work if you want the colors to stand out. You know, as pretty as they are, you're just probably not gonna get very true to color on a lot of these. Um, the most impressive color in this entire palette is probably the center shade, the Heart of Tahiti. Uh, whether or not it's supposed to be a highlighter, that's how I used it and I like it as a highlighter. Um, I did also like it in the center of the lid with, you know, with a wet brush. The mattes in this palette are so, so, so sheer. You're definitely gonna struggle putting them in the crease. You'll have to just sit there and build for a good while. Um, and then these two deeper shades are so chunky, you gotta be careful you're gonna have a little fallout or it's gonna get muddy really quickly. And so patting it on with a kind of damp brush is the easiest way to use those. So that's just my opinion. I, you know, I kind of like this palette because, you know, I have a four-year-old and I've probably seen this movie 50 times. <laughs> So I have happy memories with this movie and so in turn this palette makes me think happy thoughts So I'm gonna try to play around with it a bit more post something on Instagram for you guys and to see how it works as just kind of like a light Sheer wash of color type of palette for maybe like an everyday type of look, you know That's kind of what I'm thinking. I will personally get out of it So I hope you guys enjoyed this I try to always put these cheaper palettes to the test for you guys and really you know do something a bit out of the Normal comfort zone of these palettes. So I definitely think I achieved that here and I hope you guys appreciate that uh, Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and let me know if there's any other palettes out there That you've seen that you would like to see me review I swear they come out with one every week and I don't always 
always see them, so I always love it when you guys give me a little tip that you've seen one because I immediately go buy it. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> so don't forget to like and subscribe before you go, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.